Hello. South back out, Lord, yeah. Just out on the, uh, just got out the driveway. And it's the first time in a while I've been able to get out the driveway. My ABS lights um showing up for some reason. <clears throat> get it in a second. Right, we'll see how we go on this sand trap up here. Sand's pretty bad. Try and keep the speed going all right. Bloody car coming. Just wait for that, I think. This sand's deep. I can feel it. I'm only in first gear, guys. It's really dragging. I don't have knoblies on the bike. Um, I'd like to get some Pirellis on there, a bit like a million dollar bogan. Get some Pirellis on the on the old Indian. I have uh, low sided this bike um, driving on the road here. I should say riding on the road. It's pretty difficult to keep it straight when you're on this frickin' sand. But that's alright. <clears throat> I've got crash bars on. So if I do a Kamagatsa, she'll um Take the bike as best we possibly can. So, if you've been following my channel, Outback Outlaw, for a little while, you will know that this will be the first proper motor vlog that I've ever done. Uh, hopefully, it's recording. I'll stop and check my phone in a little bit make sure it has but I'll just um just get out of this section first right I'm just gonna pull over for a second all right roll and start let's hit it Back it off. Quite a lot of wind noise. I've got this um I've got this uh, uh camera strap, chin strap that's holding the GoPro and it uh, means that the visor is slightly cracked. But that's all right because um, the chin strap actually um, cut, cuts off the the vents, the air vents. 
a little bit of winds coming up through the uh, visor keeping me cool it's roughly around about 38 degrees today that's close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit might be 95 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that I'll have to have a look at it I'll put it up in the screen right there right there so anyway what are we going to talk about today this is my first motor vlog my first real motor vlog and uh, I've always wanted to be doing motor vlogs since I got involved in YouTube and we're seeing guys do their motor vlogs and that was about five or six years ago and there's been a few motor vlog guys that I've been following for that time uh, Brandon Macasso I've been following since way back in 2015 and 16 I think it was and as most of you would know if you've been on my channel for a while Brandon Picasso is my favourite motor vlogger there's a lot of bloody good ones out there but Brandon is the the one that I find the most appealing and I did uh, get the opportunity to interview Brandon when I was in America back in March 21st, 22nd of March I think it was when COVID was at its uh, height and uh, that uh, that interview, there was two interviews uh, two part series interview with Brandon who was just uh, off the cuff really genuine guy someone I've got a lot of time for just a all round decent bloke so if you haven't subscribed to Brandon Bacasso make sure you go and check him out you won't be disappointed the road's a bit rough so just up here on the left hand side there's a cross a person that um, passed away just recently in a rollover and where I come from you always take a wide berth around as a sign of respect and then you bit the horn as you go past If there was a car coming the other way, I would slow down and wait for that car to go past and then I would take the word wide berth on the other side of the road. It's a tragic accident. It's really good to be able to get out on the motorbike. I've been uh, dreading going out that driveway because the driveway is just so treacherous and that road out onto the bitumen but I really was champing it a bit to get out and go for a ride on the on the beast one of the things I have to be careful on this road is donkeys and bulls and kangaroos and the bulls and the donkeys they um, they blend into their surroundings so sometimes you don't see them until you actually ride on top of them kangaroos are just kamikazes they just come bottom out whenever they feel like it sometimes they go for you and then they do a, an about turn and try to take off the other way and then they turn around again and they run straight into your car or your motorbike 
back to the Northern Territory, I was riding my uh, Yamaha Classic 650 and uh, I was riding along one of the uh, the outback roads and two emus came out of the uh, bush and came running towards me and I had no idea what I was doing I don't know whether I was putting my hands on the clutch or the brake or what I was doing I was so freaked out by these two emus coming out and charging at me one cut up behind me and took off into the other side of the road to the bush and the second one started running along beside me and kept on trying to dart across in front of me so I didn't know whether I was slowing down or whether I was going faster or, or what I just didn't know what to do in that situation it completely freaked me out and all the things that I'd learned about riding on a motorcycle went straight out the window <laughs> which was uh, quite disconcerting for me so it wasn't long after that that uh, I bought my Indian and I did a lot of practice on my Indian on the Chief Dark Horse riding along bush tracks uh, bitumen bush roads and uh, doing a lot of braking practice doing a lot of figure eights and slow speed yeah I'm not I'm not as good as as others out there where I can put my knee down I don't I don't go that far every time I come out I do practice a little bit of braking um, going down through engine braking it's always a good idea to just continue to work on your skills or work on those areas that uh, you're not so crash hold on so I'm sitting on 60 mile an hour which is 100 kilometers an hour speed limit here is 110 kilometers an hour which is roughly around about 65 68 miles an hour don't need to go any faster I'm out for a cruise on a Sunday afternoon. I take my time. So I'm going to ride south. And then I'm going to ride north. Back home again. As you can see, there's lots of twisties here. I'm taking these corners really well. Pretty impressive riding. Kernoth from Throttle Down Under would say Kernoth Bloody awesome mate 